Welcome to our e-learning video on the subject of the Counter-Reformation, a significant period in the history of the Catholic Church that was marked by a series of reforms and movements aimed at countering the Protestant Reformation and revitalizing the Catholic faith. The Counter-Reformation, also known as the Catholic Reformation, began in the mid-16th century as a response to the widespread challenges posed by the Protestant Reformation, which was initiated by figures like Martin Luther, John Calvin, and others. These reformers critiqued the Catholic Church for its doctrinal errors, corrupt practices, and the sale of indulgences. In response, the Catholic Church embarked on a vigorous campaign to address these criticisms, reform its practices, and reaffirm its doctrines. The Council of Trent, convened between 1545 and 1563, played a pivotal role in this process. It clarified Catholic doctrine on key issues such as the authority of the Pope, the role of the sacraments, and the importance of both faith and works of salvation. The Council also initiated significant reforms aimed at improving the discipline and administration of the Church. These included the establishment of seminaries for the proper training of priests, a mandate for bishops to resign in their dioceses, and stricter controls over church finances. Another critical aspect of the Counter-Reformation was the founding of new religious orders, such as the Jesuits, established by Street Ignatius of Loyola in 1540. The Jesuits became the leading force in the Counter-Reformation, known for their dedication to education, missionary work, and the defense of Catholic doctrine. The Counter-Reformation also saw the advent of the Roman Inquisition and the Index of Forbidden Books, tools used by the Church to combat heresy and control the spread of Protestant ideas. While these measures were controversial, they underscored the Church's commitment to maintaining doctrinal purity. Art and architecture played a significant role in the Counter-Reformation. The Baroque style, characterized by its emotional intensity and dramatic use of light and color, was used to inspire faith and devotion among the populace. Churches and cathedrals were designed to convey the glory and power of the Catholic Church, serving as both spiritual havens and visual affirmations of the Church's renewed strength. The Counter-Reformation had a profound impact on European society, leading to a renewal of Catholic faith and practice. It also contributed to the deepening of the religious divide in Europe, with the continent becoming more firmly split along confessional lines. In conclusion, the Counter-Reformation was a complex period of religious, political, and cultural transformation. It represented the Catholic Church's robust response to the challenges of the Protestant Reformation, leading to significant internal reforms and a renewed emphasis on education, missionary work, and the arts. Thank you for joining us for this exploration of the Counter-Reformation. We hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of this pivotal period in the history of the Catholic Church. If you found this content informative, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more educational content on historical events and their lasting impacts.